Hi guys, it's Judith from JV Art Resources and thank you for tuning in today. I am bringing you a really special video today. Um, it has to do with inspiration as well as my featured artist as well as some life lessons um, involved in here. And as you can tell by the title, it's about the amazing, talented Jesse Lane. And um, there's a great story in here that I'm going to be reading to you. I have a lot of information to give out, so I'm going to get started with my glasses and um, and tell you a little bit about Jesse. Uh, first of all, I uh, just want to say, if you've ever searched online for anything colored pencil at all, you've probably come upon his work. You might not have even realized it because if you look at his work back here, um, you might have thought you were looking at a photograph. You might not even have realized that you were looking at colored pencil. Those of you who know Jesse, you know, know that he does that. But if you're just looking for information on colored pencil, you would never know. His work is just beyond anything you can imagine. It's it's another level. There are so many wonderful artists out there that are great and do realism and uh, is, I can't say enough great things about the artists that I know, but um, there's something very special about Jesse's work and he just takes it to the next level. His work e evokes feeling and emotion and that's why I wanted to do an inspirational video on him. And um, I asked him if I can show a couple of pieces of his work and um, discuss a little bit um, how just because how ins inspirational they are and um, then he told me his story and um, I was quite surprised to to hear how he started out and um, we both realized that his story is something that needs to come out uh, that is the real inspirational portion here so uh, for anybody that has ever been told they can't do something they shouldn't do something or they don't think they're good enough then um, this video is definitely for you. So, but before I go ahead and read you the story, I'm um, gonna show you a little something here. This is uh, some of Jesse's earlier work. If you look at that, you can see this is, um, this piece here was from 2005. This is what he did when he first started, uh, and this is what he's doing now. So, uh, as you can see, everybody starts someplace. Not everybody was born with a pencil in their hand to create this beautiful work, which, by the way, this series is called Anatomy of Light. And um, I have a few other things to tell you about that as well. Um, Jesse also won this picture right here is called After the Storm. And he's in Color Pencil Magazine this month um, for that picture. That was a contest of a self-portrait by Jerry Artsma that he won. And there was all different types of mediums there that were entered in this contest. And um, this was over 200 hours of work. And with this portrait, he won, and that is really big for colored pencil. So um, he's done a lot for the colored pencil world. And now I'm going to read you his story, and um, this is his story in his own words, okay? So I'm going to be reading them here right now from these sheets. Jesse's story. When I was 14 and 15, I was the opposite of who I am now. I wasn't great at anything. Actually, I was pretty much bad at everything. I was feeling more and more overcome by my dyslexia. I really struggled in school, and that made me not want to even try. So, I didn't try. I didn't try anything. I constantly made excuses for not working at things. I felt like I was behind everybody else in my life, and I just wanted to run away. When I was 14, I had a teacher tell me that I was the worst artist in her class. She said I didn't draw like any of the other artists, and she took me around the room and had me look at everybody's work and said that I should draw like they do. A year after that, I got so fed up not being able to draw. I was watching one of my friends, and at 15 years old, I was extremely jealous. My friend made it look so easy. I told myself, I want to be able to do that. And for the first time, I felt determined, and I told myself that I would practice enough to be able to draw those anime characters. As, I'm sorry, anime characters. Um, as well, 
and I want to do it as well as my friend could do it. I didn't know if I would be able to do it. I didn't know if I'd be able to draw like that, but I felt at this point I really had to try. So I went home from school that day and immediately started to draw. I drew until I went to bed, and I finished my first drawing, and the next day I was amazed at what I had done. It was nowhere near what I thought I could do or what my friend had drawn, but to me it was the best thing that I had done by far, and I felt accomplished. I realized that if I tried even harder, I can improve. That idea became very exciting to me, and to this day, it still is. So I am here 10 years later, and a lot of self-portraits later, trying to redefine my own ability. Even though I'm still bad at a lot of things, I took my weakness and made it my strength, my voice, and my passion. Because of art, I was able to find something inside myself that changed my life. And those were his own words, Jesse's words, that he sent to me. Now, how inspiring is that? Um, he took all that negative crap and used it as his own fuel, and he fueled his passion with it. It was um, his teacher, in a way, really did him a big favor. Uh, because of that, it propelled him to this type of level of creativity that uh, is just when, you know, again, when I pulled up this picture to think the same person drew both of these. It just goes to show you with time and practice and patience all that can be done. So um, it's it's quite amazing and I am very proud and impressed to even know Jesse and um, thank you Jesse Lane very much um, for sharing your story with me and now with the world and um, you're an amazing artist, you're an amazing guy. So um, I now want to just show you something else by Jesse really quick. This um, is Colored Pencil Treasures, and this is an Ann Kohlberg magazine. And here is another uh, one of his works. It's called Resolve. He's in this magazine. That's up here as well, but it's a little better picture. So um, he's really amazing. And uh, this picture back here is in a book called Draw Portraits. It's also by Ann Kohlberg. And the, he actually gives you a little step-by-step -step tutorial in there on how to do this. So if you're brave enough and you want to give that a shot, it's in that book. And I will post the link down below to the link to that book, the link to the gallery, which is the um, RJD Gallery in Sag Harbor, New York. And that's where Jesse's work is on display. And it's available there for you to look at or purchase. And um, also, there is another link I want to post to, up for you also. Um, this is, uh, okay, Face Reality. This is the name of the exhibit. And this, I believe, is one of his latest works. This is at RJD Studio. So, yes, I will definitely post the link to that as well. And I think I've covered all my material. I hope you found that inspiring and enjoyed this video. And like I said, um, if you have not seen his work, please go check it out. Uh, these are from my printer, and they're not very good. So uh, you can imagine looking at them online that you're going to get to see the true work and, uh, and how it came out. So thank you so much for your time. Please share this, especially with someone that you know that maybe is not too keen on their own work and they need a little boost and they'll see just where Jesse started and where he's become in such a short period of time. So uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be bringing you more interviews on some really fabulous artists. So thank you again. I appreciate your time. As always, please make time to create and just thank you so much. Take care.